Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be an update to my fall Project Use It Up. We are now entering month two now that we're in September of my Project Use It Up. I do have a few empties for you guys and I'm going to be changing up some things um, as far as the fragrances, we're going to keep in a few things. I'm going to add in some more combinations. So I hope you guys are excited. I have some really fun things to add in here. I also have some new body care items that I'm putting in just to see how I like them. So it's going to be a lot of change up from last month, but I hope you guys are ready. Okay, so first things first, I finished up both of my body scrubs that I had in the project. I finished up the Pacifica Island Vanilla um, body scrub. This was really great. It was very um, kind of a soft, more gentle scrub. So we were right here at the last time I updated you guys. So I really only had a little bit left and I finished it off. It was really great. And then I also finished off my Dove exfoliating body polish in brown sugar and coconut butter. I like the Dove formula so much, but this scent was not my favorite, I have to say. I think I like the rice water one better. That's in like the blue tub, but I did finish it. Looks like I even marked it. I don't remember marking it, but yeah, we were down here. So we were pretty much done when I first put it in the project, but finished that off. I finished off my Midnight Amber Glow Shower Gel. We were right about here on the packaging line and I finished it off. I love this scent. It's great for morning showers, just like a simple kind of coffee chocolatey scent. So finished that one. And then in that same kind of scent combo, I finished off the Replica Coffee Break little mini perfume that I had in the project as well. This one was awesome. This was such a good scent. I think I will definitely pick up a Coffee Break full size perfume sometime soon or in general, just sometime maybe in the winter. But this was such a wonderful scent. I loved it so much. I got through it really fast. So that one was awesome. Okay, so now that you saw my empties, I am gonna update you guys on my little coffee shower routine first. Okay, so now that we finished off the scrub and the body wash, this is all that's left. So I have Midnight Ember Glow in the body cream, Vanilla Mocha Cafe in the Fine Fragrance Mist, and the Glossier Body Hero Dry Body Oil. So this one I actually did use quite a bit of last month. It was full and I used about this much. I'm actually really liking this formula. I'm not using it so much on my entire body, but on my legs after I shower, I use this and it's really nice. It doesn't have too strong of a scent. It's a very basic kind of, just like a body oil scent. And it does feel really nice on the skin. It feels like an oil, but when you touch it, it doesn't leave your hands greasy. I don't know how they did that, but it's a really great formula. So if you happen to see this one, or um, I believe they sell Glossier at Sephora now, I would definitely pick this up if you like body oils, but you don't like feeling greasy because I, I don't know what they did. They, this is awesome. So using this one, I'm going to keep it in the project. Vanilla Mocha Cafe in the Mist. I'm loving. I am loving this so much, you guys. And I did get a little bit of progress. Let's see if I can get it to focus. So we did about this much and now I'm just under the packaging line. So you can kind of see it going around here and it is a little bit more than halfway done. So I'm going to keep it in. I'm enjoying it so much especially in the mornings and it's just like the most wonderful chocolatey vanilla-y coffee scent it smells so good and then the body cream i've got some good progress on it I, I didn't mark it but i think it was unused i think it was brand new and now we are about down here on the packaging so i am pretty much two-thirds of the way through it i have one third left so we're getting pretty good progress on this one i'm loving it especially at night this is a really nice calming scent for nighttime since it's really just like a simple vanilla chocolate scent. This is Smooth Amber Caramel Latte and Vanilla Bourbon. I, I'm a big fan of Midnight Amber Glow. So happy to have this one in here. I'll probably finish it off in the next month. And then I am gonna like transition this little Ariana Grande Mod Vanilla perfume into this set since I finished off the Coffee Break perfume. I can't tell where I am on the packaging, but I think I'm almost halfway because it feels very light, but I'm enjoying this fragrance. It's nice and simple. It's a very nice, clean vanilla. Um, honestly, it doesn't last that well, which is the only bad part, but with a vanilla scent, they usually won't last too long. So I'm gonna put this one in with my coffee scent because I feel like it's gonna be a good vanilla coffee combo. So this one is going into this project, just moving it around. And then I'm putting in a new shower gel and that is pumpkin pecan waffles. I know this is like everybody's favorite scent for the fall time. 
and I'm hopping on board. The notes are maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, and brown sugar. Oh my goodness, you guys, this one's so pretty. So I cannot wait to use this one. It smells like syrup. It smells like maple syrup. And I am about right here on the packaging. I usually put this one in when it starts to get a little colder, but I feel like this one will be really nice for morning showers. It's literally just maple syrup. It smells so good. So that's pumpkin pecan waffles. And this is the packaging from 2021. So I think this was the first year it came out in body care, but you guys will have to let me know if you love this one. I'm excited to start using it this month. So that's my little coffee and maple syrup kind of combo there. So next we have champagne, apple, and honey. Now this one I've made some really good progress on. This was like my signature scent for September. It was so nice. So I have the shower gel here and this is packaging from last year, 2022. So we've got the shower gel that I'm about halfway on, as you can see there, and it started off unused up here. So I've made some really good progress. The notes are crisp apple, sparkling champagne, jasmine honey, and autumn woods. Just a nice, wonderful, bubbly, like champagne honey with a little bit of honey crisp of apple. It's so good. And then the lotion, I've also made some pretty good progress. So we were up here and now we're down to here. So I'm more than halfway done with the lotion. It's probably gonna be finished up next month, but I'm loving champagne, apple, and honey so much. And then because I did finish off the um, other two body scrubs, I'm now focusing on the Tree Hut Apple Macchiato Shea Sugar Scrub. This one smells like candy. It smells so good. I've used it about twice, so not a lot of progress, but it does have a really nice like cinnamon touch to it. So it's like candy plus cinnamon. It smells so good. So that's gonna be my focus um, sugar scrub for this upcoming month. And then on the minis, I haven't really been using too much, but I have the spray in here. I honestly have not gotten a ton of progress. It was unused and now we're just down a little bit. So I haven't been using it that much, but I hope I will next month. And then the body cream I've been using actually as a hand cream. Um, and we were about right here and now we're down to here. So not a ton of progress. I'm actually gonna leave this and my little body care basket that I leave out and just try to finish this off in the next couple of days because I can totally finish it. But yeah, I'm loving it so far. And last, I have my Ariana Grande Sweet Like Candy Little Mini Cough Fret Perfume. I can't really hear a ton left in here, but I know there is some. So I'm just gonna keep working on this. I can't really tell the progress since it is an opaque bottle, but yeah, still working on this one. So that's it for my update on the apple routine. Okay, here's what's left of my little vanilla pumpkin routine. So we have Bonfire Bash right here, which I've been loving in the last month. It's been so yummy. The notes are vanilla bourbon, creamy sandalwood, and cashmere musk, just like loving it. I did get about an inch of progress on the bottle right here, not a ton, but I love it so much. I'm gonna actually take this out of the project because I don't wanna finish it and I'm kind of close to finishing it. So I'm gonna leave it for next year. But Bonfire Bash is one of my favorite scents. I am putting in a few different fine fragrance mists though. So this one's gonna be retired and put back in my um, collection. And then for the Pumpkin Icing Philosophy Shower Gel, I did get a little bit of progress on this one. This one is really large. It's 16 ounces versus the Bath & Body Works ones are like eight, right? They're like 10 ounces actually but this one's taking a little longer to use up, but we are right here on the packaging. We were up here, so I, I got a little bit of progress, not a ton, but I'm gonna keep this one in and actually put in a few different items to go with it because I love the way it smells. It is literally pumpkin icing, like it's kind of crazy how similar the scent is, but let me show you what I'm gonna put in to go with it. You guys have no idea how happy I am to put in white pumpkin and chai to go with this one. I love white pumpkin and chai when it gets to that colder kind of feeling of autumn. This is my favorite scent to pull out. So I have it in the packaging from 2020 and from 2021. So I'll show you, this is the 2020 packaging on white pumpkin and chai with the beautiful like embossed gold like bronzy gold packaging. This is just the most beautiful packaging ever. Um, I love this line that they came out with. It was kind of like a Thanksgiving line because it was after the um, fall and Halloween lines had come out. So I love White Pumpkin and Chai so much. It's one of my favorites. This one is right about up here. So I have a ton left on this one and I kept it for that purpose because like I said, it's one of my favorites. It's a wonderful scent. Let me show you the notes because on the 2021 packaging, it has the notes, but this is the lotion from that year. 
The notes are cinnamon cider, spice pumpkin, and vanilla glaze. This one is so good. And catch this, we are getting a cold front next week. So it might be like 50s and 70s. So we'll see how this one goes, but I love this scent. It really is like a spice cider scent. It smells so yummy. So this is white pumpkin and chai, and it's gonna go really, really nicely with my little pumpkin icing. I feel like this is such a cute little combo. And I am gonna actually put in two replica perfume minis to go with it. So I have the By the Fireplace little mini that I got. I think this was like a free sample from Sephora. So I'm excited to try this one out, see what I think. And then I also have Autumn Vibes, which is I'm gonna be trying for the first time as well. So gonna be trying these two and see how they go, but I feel like I'm gonna really enjoy them. Okay, this last combo, I don't even know what to call it, but it's basically just Halloween fruity madness. And it's like everything that I wanted to use. So I'm putting it all in because I don't care. It's my project, I can do what I want. So I'm so excited. This is gonna be a combination of Vampire Blood and Everlasting Magic. So just like a fruity paradise for October, but I really wanted to put these in for Halloween. So we have Vampire Blood, which is red berries, night blooming jasmine, and petrifying, pl petrifying plum. That's so hard to say. I have it in the shower gel and in the fine fragrance mist. I could not pass up on this one in its first year as body care. It smells so delicious, like just a wonderful, heavy strawberry scent. Mm, it smells so good. I really enjoy it in the shower gel. I think it's my favorite formula. So I have these two. This is unused. This one I used for just a little bit, so we're right down to here. But this is like a wine red shower gel. It's so cool. It's really fun to use. So this is Vampire Blood, and I'm just gonna combine it with um, Everlasting Magic. I think it's gonna be really nice. So. Like I said, red berries, night blooming jasmine, petrifying plum, and then everlasting magic is bejeweled berries, phantom petals, and magic musk. So it's definitely gonna be a little bit of overlap here on the scents, but I have it in the fine fragrance mist, which is pretty much unused. This one smells really nice. I definitely get a lot of musk. It's definitely more of a mature kind of scent. And then in the body cream as well, which is unused. It's just such beautiful packaging. So this one is right about here if I squeeze out the air. So we're gonna just start it off and I think this is gonna be the perfect like fruity take to put into the project. It's gonna be so nice. And then to go in the shower, I am also gonna put in the Together Weather Body Scrub. I just picked this up. I just did a haul with this one, so I'll link it up above. But this is the Foaming Sugar Body Scrub. The notes are Blushing Breeze, Sugared Cardamom, and Soft Cedar. I'm not sure what I think of this one yet. I have to use it in the shower and see my thoughts, but I have it in the um, shower gel and in the lotion. So I wanna try out this sugar scrub and see what I think, but I know I love this formula. So I'm excited to try it and see what I think. I feel like it's gonna be a good like berry combo. And then for perfume, I'm going to be putting in my Glossier Floriental Brown Sugar. This one is just a nice one to pair with anything that has a little bit of floral to it and a little bit of musk because this one does perfect with a dry down on my pH levels with my skin. It is so beautiful. So this is Floriental Brown Sugar and we are about at the top. I mean, like I haven't really used a ton of this yet. So I'm excited to use it a little bit more this month. It's definitely more of like a sophisticated scent and it lasts really well, so I'm excited about that. So that's everything for my fall Project Use It Up update. Now I've got four little routines going instead of just three. I figured I would put in something fun for Halloween, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know down below, what are you using for the month of October? What is your kind of signature scent? I feel like mine's gonna be still champagne, apple, and honey with a little bit of white pumpkin and chai, but <laughs> anyways, that's everything for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.